Caring for the World Films is a documentary film company. We search the world for relatively unknown but highly successful sustainable humanitarian organizations. Our goal is to bring awareness to these organizations so that they can grow. Our documentaries are meant to be used as a tool to recruit volunteers to be able to increase their, their fundraising efforts and also educate the community about the populations and countries that they serve. There are hundreds and hundreds of small, relatively unknown humanitarian organizations out there. However, we're pretty picky about the ones we choose. They have to have a very compelling story and they have to be willing to allow us to be volunteers in their organization. They have to be willing to allow us to shoot everything, warts and all. My first priority is to be a volunteer for the organization. Anyone on my crew, they have to be a volunteer. They not only have to have a humanitarian background, they have to have a skill to bring with them, or at least a willingness to learn a new skill. What makes us different is we're humanitarians first and we're journalists second. When there are opportunities to shoot, we'll shoot. That's what makes it challenging. If we're actually working for the mission, when do we have time to shoot? The other challenge is that the story is told from the perspective of the volunteer and the population the mission serves. And we tell the story from the inside out. Everything has to be organic. We don't script, we don't stage, we don't do anything like that. We don't have voiceovers. So it's more difficult to tell the story that way. But for us, it's, it's more compelling and it's more authentic to do it that way. The organizations that we've worked with are so flexible with us. They're willing to allow us to shoot everything, even the stuff that doesn't go right. They trust us enough to know that we are not going to sensationalize what's going on. That's one of our number one rules. We truly want to tell the story in an authentic manner. We think we do a good job doing that. Our next project is Himalayan Healthcare. We were thrilled that they accepted our offer. From what I understand, they did a solid, thorough background check on us to make sure we were, we were the right, you know, the real thing. I've been a photojournalist for about 25 years, and I am the director and cinematographer for the project. We also have Mike Paliola, who is fantastic. He is the tee-up guy for Caring for the World Films, as well as a board member. This guy is, is so cool. He speaks five languages. He's got a master's degree in uh, health management. He is a trained dental assistant. He's got such a great attitude and he's only in his 20s, so he's a little young whippersnapper in my world. <laughs> so we are really lucky to have him along on this project. We're very happy to have Dr. Dave Riesick on our team. I met him with Cape Cares. He's a great dentist. He's a great mentor and teacher for the team as well. He's happy to share everything he knows about dentistry with whomever is interested. And on this trip, he is an integral part of the team because he was heavily involved with the skills transfer program with HHC. And I am so happy he was able to take time from his busy practice to join us. All three of us are adventure travelers. We've traveled all over the world and have a long history of humanitarian volunteerism in our backgrounds. We did not want to be a burden to the team, so all of us physically trained for more than a year to be able to do this trek through this area called the Ganesh Hamal region. We just returned from our six-week assignment, and I guarantee everyone will be blown away by what this tiny organization has accomplished in the Dadin region of Nepal. We have a lot of work ahead of us to put together this documentary. We really, really, really believe in what we're doing. We're very honored that Himalayan Healthcare has, has decided to trust us to tell their story. It's going to be really cool.